I formally welcome you all on behalf of Deep Parenting. My name is Manish Sharma and I will be facilitating today's discussion, which is related to parental coaching. Primarily, we are going to discuss about this role parent coach, what exactly this role is all about, and the organization which is organizing this, which has invited you today, who is hosting today's discussion is Deep, Deep Parenting. Deep stands for Developmental, Encouraging and Effective Parenting. Today's discussion, we will first talk something about this organization which invited you today and we'll also discuss scope of parental coaching as a career in India, why parent coaching is important, who parent coaches are, what they do, how they do, how they serve families, how they earn money and if you wish to become one parenting coach, how you can become one. And if you become parent coach with us, with deep parenting, how as an association of parent coaches, we help our coaches. We support them to build their profession. That we will be discussing in today's discussion. And uh, first of all, I'll talk about this organization, Deep Parenting. Deep is an association of parent coaches, which got established in 2015. I started my journey in parental coaching in 2010 and we 13 coaches together formed this association in 2015 and today we are around 2200 coaches working in 16 different countries. It all started from India and now we are working in Nepal, Bangladesh, Bahrain, Nigeria, Oman, Quebec, Malaysia, Singapore. Dubai, then UAE, UK, Canada, Iceland, USA, Sri Lanka and Germany. So all these coaches, those who are working in these places with us, they got certified by Deep Parenting. With the same certification, they are working in their respective countries. And these countries are from all continents. And if we talk about the team which is working in India, we are around 1600 coaches working in India and we have trained collectively around 12 lakh parents in India only. More than 1 million parents we have trained in India and we are serving school brands also. Around 210 national, international, state level school brands we are serving and school count is more than 2000. This is about brands. And the next milestone which we have, since we have already trained 12 lakh parents, we have coached them through our services, they took advantage. Our objective is to enable 5 million parents by 2026. So that is why we want more and more people to come forward and build their career through this organization while achieving this milestone. That's about us. And... Uh, now we will discuss about this role. What is the scope? Many of you are already into coaching. You are in counseling. We have someone from IT profession. We have people from teaching background in this discussion. Now, when you look at this career, maybe someone can see their part-time career in this. Someone can see their full-time career in this. And for someone, it can be an extension of their existing role. But still, if we want to understand what exactly is the scope of this career in India, the discussion I'll start by having your viewpoint on child development. And I seek your viewpoints in the chat box or you can unmute and answer also. How many of you agree with the fact that child development is one of the one of the prominent objective of of a family when we count on prime objectives of family child development is on top how many of you agree it's one of the prime objective thank you medali thanks puja thanks sonia appreciate it. good we all agree that child development is one of the prime objective of the family. And there are many variables which impact development of child. And out of that, we have found 
these two variables act as strong pillars to build strong foundation of childhood role of parents and education system i hope you agree that these two act as strong pillars in building up strong foundation of child now when we talk about when we talk about uh, education system many of you are part of education system being teachers being school principals right if we see there is lot of changes coming up improvements coming up right it has happened in the past also in the system post independence when we got independent we dedicated so many budgets ministries departments to improve this education system because we know it's very important for not only development of child for nation development education system as to be strong and we are trying to improve it every year one or other changes there are lot of private organizations government organizations are trying to improve the system or they are trying to improve the, the tools the people working in this system because they know it is very important have you seen any intervention with the other pillar the role of a parent any government organization any budget any ministry training parents guiding them how to communicate with the child how to treat the child how to raise them how to correct them have you seen there are private players people like us are working in this field to guide them but have you seen any government intervention in it any budget dedicated to train parents on how to raise their kids no can we say that this parent doesn't need any any guidance they have all knowledge in place or can we ignore this pillar it's as important as other pillar is and nobody ever nobody ever came in our life to tell us that how to raise them how to talk to them how to correct them we all applied our own wisdom sometime it worked sometime it didn't work. and those who are teachers over here those who are counselors i'm sure you must have experienced in the past that each time these parents come to you in ptms or they like even your colleagues your neighbors whenever they talk about kids they talk about prominent challenges of child development and parent have you heard parents in your common discussions complaining about child's concentration level usually they say uska dimag bahut tez hai dhyan nahi hai padhai mein concentration is not up to the mark have you heard parents complaining about they are seeking improvement in that area yes have you heard parents complaining about child's hyperactivity not sitting at one place for long they are bothered about it have you heard parents complaining about child's tantrums they always demand more toys more fun more anything they are so passionate while asking when they get it they don't use it properly they are not satisfied what to do with this inside ability which they have yes or no i'm sure you have been asked questions related to screens kids are always glued to screens how to engage them into non screen activities i'm talking about some general questions which most of the time parents talk and if they have some specific issues even they talk about it my child is shy how to improve not confident how to improve they know the answer but they are unable to express in the right way they don't want to write they 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 are not that confident how to improve their confidence they don't share anything of school and if they have teenagers at home the worries are different if i put disciplinary rules in place they will get rebel i want to talk to my child my teenager they don't want to talk to us peers have more influence on them and many more concerns and issues parents share yes or no have you experienced have you been asked these questions by your clients by your neighbors colleagues friends relatives yes many a time that 
means parents are vocal about their problems now. They are trying to find out answers. The only thing which they don't know is whom to ask this question. Honestly, when this, they ask this question to a teacher, many a time, same teacher is facing similar problems at home. Because she is expert in one subject. She may not be expert in answering these questions. And that's where the role of a parent coach fits in. If we talk about potential in the country, we are around 60 crore parents in India. Every year, if we only count on new parents, around 1.5 CR, 1.5 crore new parents are joining the bigger group. If we only count on 10% of the population, which becomes eligible for your coaching, only 10%. Even then we are short of the number because those who are working from last, last 14 years in this industry, put together if I collect, and we calculate all the work which has been done by them and all the impact which they have created in last 14, 15 years, they haven't trained more than 25, 30 lakh parents. In last 10 years, 25, 30 lakh parents. And every year, 1.5 crore new parents are joining. So you can well imagine that it will take a big number to serve this audience. A lot of coaches. The number is not there. It means, and one more thing which you have, you must have experienced, that now new parent is very proactive in knowing how to do parenting. If they see other parents, those who have done mistakes, they have spoiled relationships. The new parent don't want to do those mistakes. And that is why they are coming up to these coaches now. Online looking for solutions, reading something about it, which is a positive change. When I started my career in 2010, nobody ever knew that there can be some guidance on parenting also. There is one role called parent coach. But today, it's a golden era. People are vocal about it. And it's a prime time to build career in this domain. Next 30-35 years will be shiny time. Shiny time for this career. Because you see, every year, this role is getting tougher and challenging. As the lifestyle is changing, this role of a parent is becoming tougher and complex. Parenting is becoming challenging. They need guidance from a coach. And that's where the role of a parent coach becomes much more important. What do parent coaches do? They help parents to be effective in their role. And if we go with the descriptive definition, a parent coach is the one who help parents with parenting challenges. Those who are facing some challenges in parenting, these parent coaches offer them an alternative perspective. Maybe something which is not visible to them, they help them see that. A solution which they don't have in mind, a parent coach proposed that, those, that solution to them, proposed that perspective to them. And how do they offer an alternative perspective? First, they get to know the problem. They, they know each child is different, each family is different. So they get to know the child, they get to know the family dynamics, and then they help them have a solution which is tailor-made. In parenting, we, we don't have ready-made solutions because what worked at my place will not work at your place because my child is different and your is different. I am different and you are different. That is why the similar strategies will not work and that's where we need these alternative perspectives which can only be possible if we do fair assessments and we have many perspectives. And that is what coaches is excellent about. They are excellent in their assessment and their growth is fully dependent on how many strategies, solutions and perspectives they have. How these coaches help families and how do they earn? There are three ways these coaches help families. And there are three ways they earn. The first approach is personal coaching. When you will become a parent coach, you will have all assessment tools in place. When a family will come to us with a problem, after assessment, we give them 
regular interventions one on one intervention in a family will come to you and you as a coach will one on one deal with those those parents and through one on one interventions you will be helping them which we refer as personal coaching and as coaches we charge per intervention per setting usually this intervention is is of 30 to 45 minutes and we charge 1500 to 2000 rupees per intervention it also depends on the city you live in if you are in metros the range is 1500 to 2000 if you are in in uh, small towns then the fee ranges between 1000 to 1500 per intervention means when a, when a family come to us with one or two problems prominent problems in child or in their parenting approaches it takes four to five settings to help them minimum means per setting we charge so you can imagine 5000 to 7000 of one family will be paying you at a stretch of four or five meetings and this is the most effective way of helping a family where a family will come you will do assessments and further you will do solution intervention then the second approach is when you will be doing workshops seminars and trainings in schools and corporates schools and corporates invite us and we address larger audience in one we do seminars trainings and workshops in schools and corporates for parents schools usually pay 5000 to 10000 for one to two hours workshop corporates have a bigger budget and that's also one way to earn though our objective is not to earn out of it. you we do these workshops because the maximum business we get that people those who attend these workshops further they get for personal but still some reasonable amount schools are giving for that workshop and the major earning source for coaches is their courses There are a lot of coaches with us, those who have their own courses going on, on parenting. Short-term and long-term courses. And mostly these courses are online. Two days to one year long courses are there. As small as two days weekend program, two months program, even one year long programs are there, which you will now be offering once you become a coach. I mean, you will be serving your clients in all three ways. The maximum earning potential is with when you launch your course online because online today dynamics are different. There are funnels, there are, uh, you know, even you've seen an advertisement, then you have been invited into this program. People attend webinar. If they are interested, they go for it. And that's how parents join these programs. If they find interest, if they find cost reasonable, they go for this. These programs, they learn out of it. So online the bigger opportunity and these are the ways coaches are serving families and earning out of it once you become a coach you will be able to serve clients in all three ways you will be doing one-on-one -on -one coaching intervention you will be doing seminars and workshops and you will have your own courses short term short term and long term courses now the next point which i shared we'll be talking about why pairing coaching is important and this question is a very common question now, that why do i need pairing coaching I know my child best. I think more than a parent, nobody can know their child. Then why do I need a coach's help? A coach is not going to help you to know your child. You know it. They are going to help you the more, like the, the knowledge which you have with your, your child. What all effective approaches you can use to raise them. The goals which you have, how to achieve those goals through parenting. That's what they help in. And for that, to establish this importance of parent coaching i usually ask two questions to my clients which i'll be asking you and i expect if you answer as a parent in the chat box your quick response in chat box will be highly appreciable do you agree that this role of a parent is very important role for child birth? do you agree just write in the chat box quickly thank you Sharanya. Thanks, Mukta. Thanks, Sonia. I hope if you ask this question to 1,000 parents, that is your role important in child development, they will simply say yes, that their role is very important. Now, my next question to you is, do you also agree that this role is getting tougher and complex with the changing time? As the lifestyle is changing, this role of a parent 
is becoming tougher and complex. How many of you agree with that? Thank you, Shivani. Thanks, Sonia. Thanks, Mukta. Others, please. Quick response in the chat box. Do you agree that this role is getting tougher and complex? True. Compared to at least compared to yesteryears when we have been raised by our parents and today we are raising, this role is getting tougher and complex. Now, if any role, and we talk about any role which is important and it is also tough, if we if we go back in the history of mankind. Whenever in our society we realized that a role, any role which is important and tough, whenever we realized, we brought standard qualification for that role. If we realized that role of a doctor is very important and tough, we brought standard qualification to become a doctor. The moment we realized the role of a teacher is very important for society and it is also tough. We brought standard qualification to become a teacher. And this stands true to all profiles, all vocations, all jobs, all roles which are important and tough. Whether it is the role of a lawyer, role of an architect, role of a hairdresser, any role, even, even those vocations like role of an electrician, plumber, all roles which are important and tough in our society. Right? We have standard qualification to get into that role. At least we have basic do's and don'ts. What to do in that role, what not to do in that role. And you just highlighted role of a parent is very important. Have you got any standard qualification to become a parent? Any do's and don'ts anyone told you, don't do this, do this? We all applied our own wisdom. You, me, everyone. Those who have done parenting, we applied our own wisdom. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't work. Many a time, if you agree with me, if you confess that there has been moments when you unknowingly, unwantedly and unconsciously, you may have hurt your child's emotions. Unknowingly, unwanted. Unknowingly, unwantedly, your decisions may have hindered your child's growth. You don't want, but you may have done it. Happens. There are few things which we don't do consciously, but our subconscious pattern triggers us to do those things. And there are many, there are many things which we don't choose to do, but we end up doing. For example, if I ask you, all of you over here, all the mothers, all the fathers, that how many of you want your kids to be independent early in life? How many of you want your kids to be bold? Quick response in the chat. As a parent, how many of you want your kids to be bold and independent? Yes? If I ask this question to 100 parents, what do you think? How many of them will say, yes, I want my child to be independent. I want my child to be bold. I want that they shall not be dependent on others. What do you think? How many of them will say yes to it? If I ask this question to 100 parents, everyone. Do you think any parent wants their child to be submissive? Do you think any parent wants their child to be dependent on others? No. This is their intention that they want their kids to be independent early in life. They want their kids to be bold. But the fact is absolutely ulta. Researchers highlight that 65% of urban parents living in urban areas and semi-urban areas, 65% of them are doing helicopter parenting with their kids. They are doing overprotective parenting with the kids. Through their parenting, they are making their kids dependent, not independent. 65%. A 
child who can do things at their own according to their age. They are not allowed to do them, those things at their own. Somebody else is doing those things. And we are postponing their independence. Do we really want it? No, but we end up doing it. Now, if I ask you, how many times you have seen that there are parents, those who gifted some PlayStations, Xbox, and gaming devices to their kids? Have you seen in your surroundings? There are parents who bought gaming devices for their kids. On their birthdays, they gift them PlayStations, PSPs, Xbox. We've seen it. When you go and ask those parents that why you bought it, no parent will have a negative reason. They all will say, because my child was demanding it. I didn't want to hurt my child. I saw that everybody is having, why don't, why my child will be deprived of it? They will be entertained. They will be engaged for their pleasure. We did it. They have these type of answers. Their intention is good while gifting it. But what damage that gadget is doing, they don't know. They actually don't know the science behind the damage. Believe me, the day you will explain them, or any one of you will get to know that biologically how those 3D view devices are damaging child's brain. But you get to know the science behind the damage. And up to what extent that damage can go. It is altering their brain waves and those brain waves are getting permanently altered. Volatility of brain waves will be very high. It leads to mental hyperactivity. When they understand the damage, believe me, no parent will be ever gifting those, those gadgets. But since they don't know the damage, they end up gifting it. So can we question intention of a parent? Intention is not bad. Intention is not bad. But what they are doing is damaging the child. Child's development. It is hindering child's growth. It is damaging their emotions. That means it's not about being good parent only. We all are good parent. Everybody has good intention. It's not about being good. It's all about being effective. It's all about being mindful. They are unaware, absolutely virtual. They are not aware of the damage. And there are many. There are many patterns which parents have which end up damaging child's beliefs, their being, their personality, their identity, their proactiveness, the way we communicate to our kids, the way we, we, we correct our kids. Is there anyone over here among us, any parent, the one who want to hurt their child consciously? To get things done from them and to correct them, they have an intention to hurt the child. No one. Intention is not. But many a time they end up doing it. Because when things will not change as per your expectation, even if you keep doing counseling, one day it will be beyond your control. And then you raise your voice. You get tough with them. No parent want to use carrot and stick method, but they don't know any other tool which we are not ever trained on, which we need to learn. Because today's time is different. This old approach of carrot and stick, it worked in the past. It's not working today. Are we trained on it? No. The problem is not with intention. It's, it's nowhere a question about good parent or bad parent. Good parenting or bad parenting. Everybody is a good parent. Regardless to their income bracket, regardless to their qualification, whether they come from village or city, every parent is a good parent. The problem is not about good or bad. The problem is all about being effective, being mindful. Maybe we are not mindful about the damages, the outcomes, consequences. And that's where our coaches and their content plays an important And I'm sure many of you, since you've shown interest in this parenting, I'm sure you must have read some books, you must have seen some deals, videos, some YouTube videos with one or other idea, and you must have come across so many terminologies related to this. Now, our content is divided according to the age of child. 
those who are raising kids till five years of age. Their parental needs are different. The opportunities and challenges in that age are different. And that age is very important when it comes to the building up foundation of behaviors and belief of child. They say first seven years of child, right, designs their next 70 years of life. That is why this preschooler age and toddler age is very important. Then those who have kids between 6 to 12 years of age, for them we have a separate content which we reference, parenting with schoolers. And those who have teenagers and early adults, for them we have different content. And further it is divided according to the subsets of this topic. Parenting is a complete subject and there are a lot of chapters. And it has some subsets. Like we have one subset called conscious parenting, mindful parenting. Mindful parenting is covering all those problems of parenting which is which can be resolved by being mindful. Like communication, listening, these type of issues can be resolved by being mindful. And communication and listening strategies with young kids are different from communication and listening strategies with teenagers, early adults. Absolutely different. Then a lot of parents complain kids are lying, which is a common problem. You must have heard so many questions. This topic is also covered under mindful parenting, how to make telling truth easier. It's a very powerful topic under conscious parenting. Many parents, they you must have seen or may have done to get things done from the child. We offer them something extra. If you do this, you get this. If you do this, you get this. And we end up establishing bright model at home. Now, if I ask you, uh, if you want your kids to be responsible about their role, shall you be offering them something extra? Shall you be compensating their act? If you want your child to be responsible for a behavior, shall you be compensating that act? Because what will happen if, if you compensate that act? Better you eat food, I'll give you extra screen time. You do your homework, I'll give you chocolate. You will definitely succeed in getting things done. But you will never be making your child understand this studying or eating is their role, is their duty. They are doing it for self. When you start compensating it, they think they are doing a favor on you. That is why you are compensating. You study, I'll give you chocolate. That means I'm studying it for them. It's not for me. It's not my role. I'll give you very small thing. Not talking about material rewards. Even interchangeably, when we try to award our kids, interchangeably we appreciate them and we say thanks to them. Happens. At some time you call them you say, say thanks to them. At some point of time, you call, you appreciate them. Happens. Now, appreciation and thanks, it has specific, specific place. If your child is eating food, shall you be appreciating your child or shall you be thanking them? If they're eating their food in time properly, shall you be appreciating your child or shall you be thanking them? Tell me. And what if, if you kept saying thanks, if they're studying in time, you're calling, you're saying thanks. If you are, if they are eating food, you're saying thanks. If they're taking a bath, you're saying thanks. If you kept saying thanks for that, what message we are stuck in the mind? That as if I'm doing a favor on them. That is why you're saying thanks. It shows that you have done something good for me. No, you will not be able to make them responsible. I'm just giving you a small point in communication and many parents are there. Those who are not conscious about it. Interchangeably, for something for which you have to appreciate your child, they keep saying thanks. We have to say thanks only when they have done something good for us. If your child has given you a glass of water, you must say thanks to them. But if you saw that they are giving water to someone, they are serving a guest, you must not say thanks. You must appreciate them only. Because if you said thanks on that, 
then you're giving them a message that it is your it is my job you did it that is why i i have a gratitude for you it's a very small point but we are establishing a message by using wrong wrong appreciative words right wrong avoiding approach at at wrong place right and this is which we refer as bright model by versus rewards then toys and games are important and how it is going to impact life of child that is also a very important topic tagging and labeling many parents end up giving certain names to their kids some tags and labels which is going to impact life of child for decades not for a short span of time but kids the life of people get impacted for long even you and me right now in this age we have certain limits in our mind certain limited beliefs because of those labels and tags which are given to us when we were young fat dark you can't do it worthless dark one or other word they used ever it is somewhere imprinted in our mind and is impacting our life today that is why you see a lot of people those who have great potential but they are unable to take initiatives in life something is stopping them inside even if they have potentials skills and ability tagging and labeling is also covered under conscious parenting how to make them independent how to bond with the kids how to spend quality time with them very small topic but a lot of apprehensions about it then positive guidance every parent want to be a positive guide and positive communicator with their kids but 95% time they negatively guide and negatively communicate we usually highlight in our communication what we don't expect from our kids we hardly highlight what we expect no and don't are prominent words in a language few researches highlight by the time the child reaches 15 years of age that child has heard no and don't around 5 lakh times for the parents and teachers but we want to be a positive communicator what we become negative why because what we think we shall do as parents consciously is different from what we do so and these type of topics are covered under mindful parenting and different different topics are there digital parenting is a powerful topic of time in which most of the issues related to to uh, these gadgets screens tv view games the impact on it rules of screen viewing how to validate the content for young kids toddlers and preschoolers what all parental control apps we have and what type of support system technology is giving us to manage their their devices and all the content and what type of mindfulness is required while validating the content i, I just want to give you one one simple perspective of it young kids if i talk about they are very much interested to watch cartoons but can we say that every cartoon is meant for every age bracket can we say that quick response what's your view on this if it is cartoon it is meant for kids can we say that can we say that every cartoon is 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 meant for every age yes can we say this no not every cartoon is meant for every age you all know this my question to you is how many times you went to google or to broadcasting ministry website or to channel website to check what is the minimum age to watch that cartoon which your child is watching have you ever checked they have to mention the way we have they have like we have in these web movies they have to mention what is the minimum age to watch same way cartoon programs also need to mention but have we checked ever no but you just have pointed out that every cartoon is not meant for every age but we haven't checked that means what you think is different what we do is different it's not in our practice and that is why a lot of time kids are kids are getting exposed to to wrong languages which is not according to their age right wrong behaviors actions and when it comes to digital parenting in teenagers it's completely different they choose their own digital environment then we discuss about digital addiction prevention of digital addiction cyber safety guidelines there are online predators dark web is there 
retail truths and these all topics are very powerful topic which are covered under this digital parenting technology and teens the most powerful topic in parenting is developmental parenting where we talk about holistic child development we all know every child has some potential every child is talented and that's where we talk about multi dimensional view point to see a child when parents complain about child is shy not logical not linguistically smart handwriting is not good adhd add for that we give them remedies if they have a strength we will give them a nursing plan for their excellence and how to make them independent there are a lot of theories related to personality profiling we help them understand the child's personality profile and those who have grown up kids they have those who have grown up kids they have also worries about right helping child to take informed correct decision and child safety reinforcements many parents have con concerns about child's eating habits so healthy eating habits also we support them with in these all topics are covered in developmental parenting strategic parenting mein there are powerful topics related to instant gratification to delayed gratification tantrums concept of classical conditioning and reconditioning how to have consensus among parents which is a big issue without hurting the kids how to get things done from the child positive reinforcement facilitation how to have discipline at home and many more i'm just sharing these topics with you to establish the fact that when we talk about parenting as a subject it's just not few topics there are many sub topics under parent if we say mindful parenting only is enough no you have to have good knowledge about developmental parenting also gentle parenting also strategic parenting also digital parenting also means we if you want to serve as a parent coach you need to be thorough about all these sub topics and there are many more topics just sharing so that's about the discussion which we plan so far i discussed about who parent coaches are what they do how they do how they are and which all topics they have they have they have command they are pro on now after having this discussion when we discuss about this organization about this role in detail how many of you want to know that how to become one manish we got to know enough about it now tell how to become one parent coach in how many minds it is going on right now that what it takes to become one parent coach pooja thank you so pooja is thinking on those lines who else is thinking varsha sonia good people those who want to get into parental coaching for them we offer train the trainer program which is different from training parents means training parents is different from training parent coaches because these parent coaches have to further train parents coach parents so we use a format called ttt which is a very thorough and detailed format which is two way communication where your all queries will be answered live discussions so in we have three three we have three ttts train the trainer programs first level of program which we call the program dedicated to parenting toddlers and preschoolers it's 14 to 16 days program every day we meet for two hours live discussion around 32 hours discussion will be there on toddlers and preschoolers then second level of program we have dedicated to teens and adolescents which is 8 to 9 days agenda 16 to 18 hours and third level we dedicated to mid schoolers which is 6 to 8 hours 8 days agenda 12 to 16 hours so first level anyone want to do they have to go with this level those who did first level will graduate to the second and the third that is how we support people and all these programs are live and since it is live discussions it starts on specific dates 
So our upcoming batches are starting. We have different, different time brackets available, time batches, according to the availability of different participants. We have 11 to 1 p.m. batch, which is starting on 12th of August. On same 12th of August, there is another batch starting. The timing is 7 to 9 p.m. And one batch, which is starting on 22nd of July, it is 4 to 6 p.m. In the day after tomorrow, there is one batch starting. The timing is 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. According to the availability of your time, you can choose the batch. And we do these trainings on weekdays. Weekends are off. Saturday, Sunday off. Monday to Monday to Friday, these classes happen. 4 to 6, 11 to 1 and 7 to 9. 4 to 6 batch is starting day after tomorrow. And 11 to 1 and 7 to 9 p.m. That will start on 12th of August. For each program, there will be a separate certification. There will be three certifications. Certification on toddler and preschooler. Certification on mid-schooler, certification of teens. Um, those who invited you today, they can share sample certificates with you. You just ask them so that you get to see what type of certification it is. Once you become coach with us, um, we will be your detailed profile will be visible on our website. If you want to see other coaches' profile, you can visit deepparentingcoaches.com. These profiles are micro websites. We give you an opportunity to build your micro website where you can write your blogs, you can highlight your services, you can write your upcoming events. If you're launching a program, it will be helping you with landing pages, payment gateways, learning management system. Just see the tech, deparentingcoaches.com. All the PPTs, content and ebooks e will be shared with you. During the program, if we are using some presentations, some content, and around 17 ebooks we will be sharing on parenting with you in this three levels. And recording of all days will be shared with you. After every day's training, you will be getting recording also. And these recordings are with you for a lifetime. The access for a lifetime is there. Means today, like since it's a long program, it takes one and a half, two months to complete all three levels. So if you missed any day's program, you will be getting recording same day so that before next day's class, you will be able to see your content. So that's about the program. When it comes to fee for each program, it is different. Level one program, the fee is 4,000 rupees. Level two program, the fee is 3,000 rupees. And level three program, the fee is 2,000 rupees. If anyone want to go level by level, the first level fee, which is around this, uh, 32 to 36 hours content, the fee is 4,000. For second level, which is 8 to 9 days program, fee is 3,000. Separately, you can pay and bed schooler, which is 2,000. If you are interested to do all three levels, then you get a discount of 2,000 rupees. This third level fees will be waived and you have to pay only for first two levels. By paying 7,000 rupees, you enroll for all three levels. And once you become coach with us, you become a member of association, you will be also getting some free programs. One program each quarter you will be getting. Different, different topics we keep doing. Few topics which we recently did. Healthy Teens, Healthy India, Digital Marketing, where we did a lot of programs. Creative infographic making, reels making, brain function and development, book writing, how to be on TED, how to be on Josh Talks. We help people write books. We help people be on TED and Josh Talks. These type of programs we keep doing every quarter one program happens and these all programs are free for all the members even if you do that first level of program with us you become member of association and you enjoy these free programs every quarter if you want to get any free programs you can also download our app deepparenting.com deepparenting app from android and deepparenting.org from if you are an iphone user go and attend Hundreds of training programs are available on our app, free of cost. The big question which usually people ask is, once we become coach, how this organization will support us in business? Because which is a tougher task. There are a lot of coaches, but they don't know how to do marketing, how to have their clients. So what? how we support, we regularly help you with knowledge and content. For once you become coach with us, we will give you a marketing plan for 90 days for which we'll be supporting you for 90 days 
to build your tribe of followers, to build your brand, right? To have your complete digital, digital uh, network. And within this 90 days, you will be getting your clients, you will start earning, and you will be launching your courses also. To launch your courses, we give you tech support also. Micro website ke liye, you just see deepparentingcoaches.com. Just visit it. You will see how your micro website will be created free of cost. How you will be making your landing page. And I'm just sharing that website detail with you. You can see any coach profile. You can write blogs, highlight your services. We also have an internal development program called Upfeed, where senior mentors will help existing coaches to upgrade. One year metric service is provided. After training, for one year, you will be aligned to a senior mentor who will be helping you in your business, who will be helping you in your coaching journey. They will also support you in launching your courses. So this one year mentoring is enough to build your career, right? And it is free. They will not be charging anything from you on this. You only pay for this. They also support you to reach out to schools. As I told you, they're already working with most of the brands. DPS, Rhymes, Padars, Millennium, so all, all, almost all national brands, all convents, right? You will also be getting opportunities to work with these schools. And how we support and what I claim today in this discussion, whether it is just a claim and what is the truth about this claim, for that, I would request you to please visit our Facebook page of Deep Parenting to see the reviews. Or you go to Google and check the review section of this organization. Read the reviews of people. Hundreds of reviews are there. And detailed reviews you will find. And you will also see the profile of people, those who are, many of them are doctorates, pediatricians, school principals, NLP practitioners, DMIT practitioners, counselors, HR professionals, a lot of IT professionals, gynecologists. Just read their reviews. If you want to talk to them, go to deepparentingcoaches.com and call any coach who is from any city. Just ask them how much support they are getting and how much they have got out of this program. There are hundreds of reviews. You just read these reviews, which will be helping you to take this decision easily. Right? That's all from my side about this program, about this role, parent coach and how we can support you to get into parental coaching. If you have any query, please ask. And those who joined in between the discussion, they will be getting recording of today's program. Yes, please. If you have any query, you can ask. Yes. Yes, please. We discuss about who coaches are, what they do, how they do, and how we support people to get into coaching. Yes, please. Any query you have, you can ask. Any doubt, any query. You have been invited by a, a, a training coordinator. So they will be helping you with all the details related to uh, this program, agenda and everything, the review section. Still, you have any query, you please ask. Oh, yeah, your voice is not audible. Not yes. Uh, not exactly, sorry. Pooja, you can we can talk. You please call if you if we want to discuss it. Uh, yes, now I, uh, I just need to know that uh certificate hai, uska jo, uh, matlab, how come like it's like is it valuable? Matlab, what should I say? I'm not getting the exact I word. Like, I'll tell you. The Haan, certificate, Haan. certificate which you will be getting, it is through Association of Parent Coaches and it is valid across India and abroad. With the same certification from last nine years, people are working in India with almost all school brands with, with government and also in developed countries with the same certification, Canada, UK, USA. So means your certificate will be that valid that you can work easily in India and abroad if you wish to 
let's say to right this is only association so far in india there is no other association deeper in india right yes any other query anyone is having about the program about the support system yeah yes. <clears throat> hello good evening good evening ma'am am i audible yes yeah you just said that you will be uh, you'll be offering us mentoring if we are say, facing any problem whether with our children or with other if we become a coach so i just ask if uh, you know children throw tantrum also if we try to uh, give any support then how will be able and we'll be getting one to one mentoring with one question or there will be a group that will be getting mentoring for this because training training will be one to many mentoring will be one on one one on one no? once you will get into parental coaching you will get assessment too for example i yeah. one family came to you they shared some problems first you will be doing assessment there are tools assessment tools you will be filling all the tools all the information and we take 48 hours gap from assessment to first intervention so today we did assessment 48 hours in between 48 hours you will be referring back to your mentor sharing that assessment sheet with them that this is the assessment sheet then they will help you that how you are going to do your first intervention with them what how do you are going to provide sir since you already attended program so you at least know the concepts that mentor will help you how to help to life the client they may support you with your with your first interventions initial interventions maybe in one year if you do 50 interventions for example 50 interventions are enough to get into role fully so not only in coaching journey they will be supporting you in your business plans also Two, two, two. Are there any submissions and exams is involved in getting certified? No, there's no submissions. We expect uh, attendance, seventy-five percent. Who's that? Your plan will start. Means your training when training will end. Your relationship with us is not going to end. It is going to start when you will be getting mentoring. You will be in a ninety days action plan. Ninety days marketing plan you will be following. There's no exam as such we have. Yeah. Right? We just want your attendance. Yes. Ah, uh, sir, I need one guidance basically. Like as being a uh, kindergarten teacher, ah, uh, what I face on a regular basis that ah uh, there's a few kids in my class. Those who show very like you know ah uh, they throw themselves on floor. They are like and they show they hit others but parents are not taking any step on that and they are continuously poking like ma'am you do it you do it this is your part and this is uh, what like see uh, nowadays everybody is smart i know i also know that they are putting their part on me yes. where they should, they should include themselves like i suggested them like uh, just go and make him uh, like because it, it, according to their age they should join different activities so that they can consume their energy at this age but they are like no ma'am uh, i am trying to do it i am not able to do it i have family issues but still they have ample of story at the back See, but they are not they are, doing it they are dealing with the teacher so far the day pooja agarwal will deal as a parent coach he will be able to help them understand their role they are imposing their role on teachers which is very common problem today Yes, it's yes. that everything they shall be, and that's where coaches' role is very important because the parent doesn't know their role. Yes, yes. So, and when you act as a parent coach in that parent coach capacity, when you meet them, then you will be doing different practices with them. And when mm -hmm. we help, we don't help chalte firte to them. We do thorough okay. assess. We'll make a plan which is blended in terms of one-on-one -on -one coaching training, blended solution. We give them. We give them thorough understanding. if they are not fulfilling their role what is the the disadvantage today parents until they know the consequences they don't feel like changing them yes yes they know the consequences and that's where we help them okay okay sir so thank you varsha is asking any minimum qualification required for this course your intent is the minimum qualification if you have an intent to help them you can any time join rest we will qualify you for this because no other qualification ever even people those who are studying psychology they haven't studied the subject we have lot of doctorates in psychology those who joined this program became parent coaches with us because they are master of their subject this subject they haven't 
learned in class in that class. Not yet been taught in any classroom. It's for this we will be, be certifying you. You will get qualified for this. Yes. Yeah. Uh, my question is again related to the past question. Uh, like we are talking about the hand holding. So do we getting this hand holding from the day one, the way we uh, start uh, this coaching because uh, this, uh, you know, practice day one, huh? Because first we need to handle our kids. We need to, because we, every day we are uh, getting one or uh, two challenging every day. Day one means the moment you, you finish with your course immediately, the moment you finish with the course, you have all tools in place and it started. Now they will support yeah, you. I'm not asking about the uh, finishing course because I have already got myself enrolled in this and I have uh, joined this. So from the day one means uh, during this period also of training that if I uh, face any challenge uh, due to my, you know, kid, so would I be getting any hand holding for this? Absolutely. You will be. Okay. Right. And if... <laughs> You want to, anyone, want to have um, a trailer, what type of content, how we are going to do training, then we are going to do a three days foundation course on 2nd, 3rd and 4th August. It is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It is 7 to 9 p.m. If anyone want to have a glimpse of how this course will go and three days are enough time to build our understanding on this role, who parent coaches are, what they do, how they do, how the content is served, absolutely three days will give you enough information about this role and about this career. So we are doing a, a six hours program technically, two hours every day, second, third, fourth, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. It's a three days foundation course you can do and the fee is 299 rupees. Even for this foundation course also we are giving certification. Right? If anyone wants to, before making up their mind, if they want to have a player of this program, they can by investing 299 and three days, they can get to know about it. Those who are charging 1.5 lakh rupees, we are far better than them, but we don't charge 1. That you can also get only get to know when we do. Right? We have largest team in the world just because we are not charging much. 2200 coaches we have in 16 countries. And we are an association of parent coaches. We are not a commercial company, so we don't charge much. But it doesn't mean that if we are charging less, so we are anyways lesser than anyone. We are far better than them, I can assure you. Even those who be, people, those who have paid 1.5 lakhs to them, when they come to us, they get to know the value, what exactly parent coaching is. I want, I just, I'm not boasting about it. Just want to tell you, if somebody wants to do parent coaching, there's nothing better than deep parenting. You can ask anyone. Any parent coach or any parent coach who are, there is no better platform than this. Right? Right? If anyone is saying 25,000, 30,000, absolutely their cost. But on parenting, nobody better than us. We are best in terms of support system, after training support, pricing, to anyways, we are best peanuts. Right? When it comes to content, it is very, like, even if you want to attend our free programs, more than 100 programs are there available free on our app. Free. So, free content, say, Lava, if you see our content, it's completely different. Free programs are more than 100 on our app. You just download Deep Parenting on your Android phone. Then those free programs. If you don't mind, you will get, see the difference how. And all those programs are done by our coaches. When you listen to those programs, you will see the profile of those coaches, how they deliver, how we nurture our people. Let to see. And just to get to know how we are different, you can also attend this 299 follow program, three days program. Just get to attend the foundation program. Get ample clarity who we are, how we do. Right? Would you please reshare the slide of three levels of the courses? It is toddlers and preschoolers. Just a second. 
toddlers and preschoolers, teens, adolescents, and midschoolers. And blue is also yes. safe. Yes, this one. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. If you want this PPT, we'll share with you. Correct. I uh, know. I just wanted this one. Right. Those who joined in between the discussion, they will get the recording sometime. We'll share through our training coordinators. And those who want to enroll for any program, even for three days foundation program, just text the one who invited you today, our training coordinators. They will help you to enroll for the program. If anyone has already made up their mind and they want to do it as early as possible, day after tomorrow, on 22nd of uh, this July, we are starting with the 4 to 6 p.m. Time. You can join them. Right? So, thank you from my side. You joined today. I really appreciate your presence on this weekend. Right, Kiran? You have to just text the one who invited you. Maybe Yogita, Steffi, Neetu may have invited you today. Just text them. They'll help you enroll. Sonia, you have already enrolled, I think, for the program. Welcome, welcome to the program. See you. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank Good. you. Thanks, Shanya. Thanks, Varsha. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ivangi. Thank you, Praveen. Thank you, Vita. Bye-bye.